So you feel guilty because people are upset with you because when they came to your front door, you didn't answer. When they text you, you didn't text them right back. When they called you, you didn't answer the first time. Let's talk it out. I'm sure people have said this about me and they've talked about you and they went to other family members and friends and talked about you when it comes to this. And people have even come to me and said, hey, how do I handle this? Well, first of all, you have to address why do you feel guilty? Why do you feel guilty about doing what you want to do? I practice the freedom of being grown and I practice the freedom of being free. I'm free from people's opinions. I'm free of their thoughts about me and what they think about what I do and I don't do. They don't know what's going on in my life. They don't know what's going on in your life. And here's what's crazy. When they go and talk about you to other people because she didn't answer her phone. I came to her house and rung the doorbell two times this week. Or they go to my kids and say, why your mama not answering her phone? <laughs> Cause she grown, you know? And then here's what's funny. When I finally do talk to them, oh, I know you've been busy. No, I haven't been busy. I didn't want to talk to you or I didn't want to answer my phone or I wasn't in the space to answer my phone. Now it's different if you're angry and you're upset and you're bitter with someone and that's why you're not doing it, then you need to address that. But I don't have any bitterness or any anger towards anybody. I live my life a certain way. I live my life according to my peace, according to my schedule and what works best for me. And if you come to my door and I'm just trying not to laugh <laughs> because people actually talk about other people. But if you come to my house and I'm not in the space or the energy to talk to anybody or be around anybody, I will not answer my door. That's my door. And I don't have to feel guilty because I didn't come open my door. Just because somebody rings the doorbell, I'm not required to open it. It's an option. <laughs> it's an option. This is hilarious. And then it depends on who it is. <laughs> now let's address this. Why do you feel guilty? And why do you continue to have people in your life that are constantly upset with you because you're not answering your phone? You're not coming to your door. See, here's the thing. I released all those people. I no longer look at my phone and roll my eyes or, you know, oh my God, I don't want to talk to them. I don't do that anymore. And I never really did. My thought was, if I talk to them right now, they're going to drain me because all they do is complain. They're negative. All they do is talk about other people. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to engage in that. And so I eventually released all those kind of people that are like that. I don't care who it is. If it was a lover, family, friend, it does not matter. And to be honest, the underlying issue is fear. We're afraid of what people are going to say or what they're going to think about us. And I don't want them to think I'm being rude or being mean. Here's the truth. You have a life. They have a life. And a lot of times when people are coming at you, they keep texting, they keep calling. It's because they're not doing what they need to be doing in their life. Then they won't be so free to come and try to see what's going on with you and sometimes distract you. So if you're not answering your phone, you're not answering your door, you're not responding and communicating in the way that they think, is that your problem? No, that's their problem, not yours. And like I said in my previous video, you don't owe anybody any explanations at all. You are grown, you are free. If you don't answer, you don't answer. If you don't respond to a text, you don't respond to a text. And I know a lot of times in the past, because I released those kind of people, if I have to look at my phone and roll my eyes, you don't need to be in my life. That's just the truth. You don't need to be in my life. Or it's gonna be from a distance, you know, when we talk, that it's going to be rare. And it's gonna be in a space where I can talk to you. Because some people's energy is just trash. It's just foul. And you don't want that to be in your spirit. You don't want that to be in your atmosphere. So let's just deal with the fear. You're afraid. You're afraid of what they're going to think. Who are they? They're people. What can they do to you? And if you don't answer, or you don't come to the door, they should have a life that they're tending to where it shouldn't matter. Now, come on now. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about somebody who's doing a real welfare check on you. I used to work for 911 as a dispatcher and people would call to do a welfare check. I haven't heard from my cousin. I haven't heard from them. The cars are outside. It's locked from the inside, that kind of thing. We know what we're talking about here. We're talking about the people that keep contacting you, trying to drop by. They don't have nothing going on in their life. They're distracting you. And then they're going behind your back, coming to my kids. Stop coming to my kids and um, asking them why I'm not answering my phone. I'm not answering my phone because I don't want to talk to you. Or I'm doing something that is priority. And don't forget, I'm intuitive. 
I know what you want. I already know what you want to say before you come to me. So stop calling my kids and stop asking them why your mama not texting me back because she don't want to. <laughs> I want to inspire and encourage you to not be afraid of people. And again, this goes into every area. You can apply this to every area. If somebody has an issue with how you raise your kids, what you feed your kids, I've had to deal with that too. Stand up for yourself. Stop being afraid to stand up to people. They're just people. And if they're not providing you with breath every single day, and especially if they're not making no bank deposits, you don't see any bank deposits paying any bills, it's irrelevant. Ignore it. If you have more than one person that causes you to roll your eyes when you look at the phone, or if you look on your cameras or you peep and you see who's at the front door, if you got to, oh my God, why are they in your life to begin with? And then if they have to be or blood or something like that, why roll your eyes? Just don't answer the door. <laughs> or you call them and you say, hey, it's not a good time. I'll get back with you. Because self-care is priority. Self-love is priority. And sometimes people don't want anything but to distract you and take up your time because they are running from something in their life. They don't want to deal with something in their life. So let me just go on over here to Dory and say, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> no ma'am, no sir. Don't bring that over here. This is your life. This is your space and it's sacred. And nobody's going to put you first other than you. People don't care what you're doing. God bless his heart. My daddy, he used to do that last year before he passed. Well, he did it for the last eight years when I became his caretaker. He would just show up at my door. He only got a pass because he was sick and he didn't know how to do a lot of things. And see, now that's different. He was dependent on me, highly dependent. Some things he could not understand. He only had a sixth grade education. So there were some things that he could not understand. So he got a pass. I mean, he would literally just show up at my front door. We're not doing that today. Not today, calm down. I could be entertaining a gentleman friend or I could just be, you know, and he would just show up with papers in his hand, mail, you know, Dorian, this from a doctor, I don't know what this is, or just a bill or help me turn my cell phone on. That's different, that's different. Even friends that just show up at your house. Now, some people don't care. Some people love that. They're hospitable. They just show up anytime. They have food and tea and cookies already made on the table every single day. But that's why I say, if somebody's gonna be in your life, they need to know you. They need to get to know you and then they won't be upset. They won't be frustrated. If they weren't so busy, focus on themselves, self-centered and being selfish and thinking about themselves and going and running their mouths about what I'm doing or what somebody else is doing, how I get to know me, get to know how I am. Okay, so she doesn't like, you know, to be called early, early in the morning or whatever your thing is. I'm just using a random example. Okay, well, she doesn't like for people just to show up at her house. Let me call first. And some people are like that and you know them. They'll say, hey, don't just show up at my house. Call me first. And some people are like, just come on by. And so take the message that this can apply to trivial things, but you can also end up carrying that into, you know, things that will really start to drain you, steal your energy, and then cause you to be unhappy and lose your peace. Because if you can't say no, especially on the job. Now they have you working extra six hours a week and now your kids are suffering or the family is suffering or something is going away because you didn't know how to say no and you didn't know how to stand up for yourself or just ignore. I've really mastered the art of ignoring. Just ignore it. What, what are they gonna do? And since I've mastered the art of ignoring, my peace has multiplied. You know who I'm talking to and you know what I'm talking about. You know what kind of spirit they have, what kind of energy they have. And here's what's so funny. The people that I know that have been talking mess, um, I've stood right next to them. And when they've had their phone, someone will call their phone. And you know what they say? Oh, Lord, uh -uh. I do not want to talk to her. She's just going to be talking about that. And I'm just looking at them like, wow, you said the same thing about me. That's what I'm saying. They do the exact same thing. They ignore calls. They used to do it to us when we were little. Remember um, when they had those landlines? Or when people will just show up before you could do bills online, people will just show up, bill collectors. And what would our parents tell us to do? Lie. Tell them I ain't here. Don't, don't you answer that door. You answer that door. Or, don't you answer. or pick up the phone. Tell them I ain't here. Because they don't want to talk to them. They're not ready to talk to them. They don't have the money or whoever it is. Or even if it was family member, that's your auntie. No, just hang up the phone. Don't tell them I ain't here. 
they would do the same thing to us. <laughs> practice the freedom of being free and also practice the art of ignoring. And I know some of you have family members that'll come to you and say, hey, your brother trying to get in touch with you. Your brother's been trying to get in touch with you for a week. And you have people say, now that is your blood. That is your brother. That's your auntie. That's your grand. Yeah, but grandma is toxic. Grandma got a mouth on her and all she do is bad mouth people. All she do is talk people into the ground. And I don't want that in my spirit. Well, you know, y'all have been friends for 20 years now. Y'all been friends for so long. Y'all's kids grew up together and she's been trying to reach out to you and she said, you're not answering the phone. Yeah, because she's gonna keep whining about the same thing and she just want money. You know, we're talking about this. We're talking about this type of stuff where you're gonna have to address people for either how they are, or you're just gonna have to distance yourself and let people know, listen, I just don't want that in my life. I've tried to help you. I've reached out to you to kind of give you some guidance. You don't wanna take that. And so until you can deal with that, this is just gonna have to be a distant relationship. Okay, don't just subscribe, share, tag, and like, do that. But also apply what you learned in the video, follow me on social media and imdorian.com.